Kanbans, we've all used them, mostly just to plan and track what we're working on. But what if I told you that you can finally work with AI agents directly on your Kanban? Well, meet Vibe Kanban, an AI platform that lets you write tasks and have AI agents work on them. This is literally the ultimate form of Vibe coding. So with that said, in this video, we will talk about its features, pricing, and also the problems in it. So here I've started a new project where I ask AI agents to work on different tasks, like create a Git repository and create a new project with a landing page and another page that displays a Flappy Bird game. And here, as you can see, we have columns for to do, currently work in progress, in review, and what's done and canceled. And for each task that you make, the Kanban and the agents will work on them in parallel. Now, to try this yourself, all you have to do is execute npx vibe Kanban, and that should start the application where you'll be welcomed by this warning, stating that AI agents have full access to your computer. So use this app at your own risk. So with that said, we can just continue and accept this risk. Then here we can choose our coding agent and our code editor. You can use Act Echo, Cloud Code, AMP, Gemini, and Open Code. So make sure that you have installed the agent that you'd like to use. I'll use Cloud Code and of course, VS Code. And finally, you will need to connect your GitHub account so that AI agents can make branches, PR requests, etc. Now, once you have connected your GitHub account, this is how the Kanban app is going to look like. We have three pages that you need to know. First one is, of course, this page, the project page, where you'll find all your projects. Next one is the MCP servers, where you can configure your MCP servers if you want to extend their capabilities, of course. And lastly, this is the settings page where you can change the look of your Kanban app, as well as change the default settings and preferences. Now let's proceed and create our first project. Here you can either use an existing project or start a new project and a repository. And then you can simply fill out the following form and if you want to customize the setup script or the dev script, this is where you can do it. And once the project is created, you can finally create a task. Let's create a new task task and tell our agent to create a new Nuxt project with two pages, a landing page and a game page. Let's also use Tailwind CSS. And then here you have two buttons, create the task or create the task and start. Let's just create the task for now. And then let's create a new task and ask the AI agent to create a new GitHub repository. So now we have two tasks. Let's open our first task. And here in this section, you will find the details of that task. And this is also where you can configure which base branch it should be pushed and which coding agent it should use. So yes, each task that you make can have a different agent, which I personally think is cool because some agents are good at coding and some agents are good at basic stuff like documentation. So let's start this. And now that task is going to the in progress column and the agents going to start making the app and as you can see it created a to-do list and you'll be able to understand which task is currently working on and while that's being worked on let's move on to the next task and start it as well now we should have two tasks being worked on in parallel and if you just give them a few moments one of them should be done there you go if we go and check our github account we should have a new repository Oh, the other task is also done. Let's review that. Now, since this is a task that generates codes, you will see here that there are diffs. And if you open this, you'll find the files that the agent has either created or edited. Now, if we open this in our code editor, we'll have the project that it created, which I think is really cool. We can see that it's actually using Tailwind CSS and it's in the dependencies. So with that said, we can try this by installing the modules and running the local server. And there you go, we have our Flappy Bird game. Now let's see how much score I can get. Okay, get no. Again. Yeah, yeah, no, come on. Just, just one, just one, one, what, just one. <laughs> and that's Vibe Kanban, another AI tool that you can use for free. Yes, this is free and it's actually an open source project. So you can try this out for free or help the community make this a better tool. Because honestly, there are currently quite a lot of problems. For example, the open IDE button is not working sometimes. The dev button is disabled. The merge button is not working on Mac, but on Windows, it's working. I don't know why. I personally think this tool is great. This is gonna make your workflow so much fast and so much easier. You'll be able to easily track your progress. So that is Vibe Kanban. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Better Stack for more AI tools like this one. And let us know in the comments below what you wanna see next. Thanks for watching. My name is Bernard and I will see you in the next one.